Good morning and welcome to your daily local news. It is Monday the 18th of October 2021. World Food Day commemorated. Baby food will be subsidized for 50%. Psychiatric Center will also take in COVID patients and Grand Chief Aboy Koni of the Saramecan tribe ready to be vaccinated. Suriname must regain its place as an agricultural country, so says Minister Pralat Sildin of Agriculture, Livestock and Fisheries, LVV. The Ministry of LVV is committed to this goal as well as to reduce imports of products. According to Ricardo Bola, the District Commissioner of Paramaribo Northeast, it is important that children learn from an early age how to plant organic the district commissioner is trying to change the city center. And Eric Sabalos, chief technical advisor to the FAO, said that this is the second time that World Food Day was commemorated during the COVID-19 pandemic. Sabalos praised the way in which farmers nevertheless committed themselves. He says this commitment will ensure there is no global famine. But Sabelo says that in the agricultural field, some changes should take place. And the Ministry of LVFA decorated farmers for their efforts. They also donated some tools and machines. Baby food will be subsidized by the government for 50% of the purchase price. This is also one of the measures from the Santoki Brunswick administration's recovery plan. Babies from vulnerable households born after May 1, 2021 are eligible for this subsidy. Sus Holband, the coordinator of this project, indicated that the distribution will take place via the clinics of the Regional Health Service and the Medical Mission. In collaboration with the Ministries of Health, Economic Affairs, Agriculture, Livestock and Fisheries and the Ministry of Social Affairs, as well as the dairy company Milk Centrale, the initiative has been taken to support 4,000 babies for a year. The registration takes place online, after which the Ministry of Social Affairs selects the families. The aim is to support as many babies as possible, says Holband. Parents, parents from all districts who, who will be eligible for the grant will pay about SRD 55 per can of baby food and the selected babies will no longer enjoy this measure when they reach the age of one year by 2022. Holband appeals to parents, especially mothers, to keep on breastfeeding their children as much as possible. The Psychiatric Center Suriname PCS will soon also treat COVID patients. This will relieve some of the pressure on the healthcare system. The preparations are in full swing, says the nursing director of PCS, Romeo Sukai. Sukai indicated that PCS can treat about 30 patients, although this seems very little given the number of daily positive infections, it is a big help to the sector. Sukai adds, based on their condition, COVID patients are referred to a hospital and this will also be the case with PCS. The PCS had to create some space to accommodate the group of patients. To make this happen, just like other hospitals, the center had to cut in into their regular care. And Sukai assures the community that there are qualified nurses within the institution to provide adequate assistance to the COVID-19 patients. And the great chief of the Saramacan tribe, Gramang Albert Aboy Koni, is ready to be vaccinated against the coronavirus. The tribal chief announced this during a working visit by the Minister of Health, Amar Ramadin, on Friday, October the 15th, at his residence in Asidon Hopo. The visit of the public health minister was in the context of the ambiguities that exist within the various communities about the vaccine. In a tribal meeting, or so-called Krutu, with the traditional authority, Ramadin explained any doubt about the injection to the Gramang and the tribal dignitaries. The minister was accompanied by a team of experts. 
and during the crew too, the minister clearly indicated the advantages of the vaccine in the fight against COVID-19. The information will now be spread out to the community through the structure of the traditional authority with the aim to increase the vaccination coverage among the San Marcan tribe. After coordination with the working arms of the Ministry of Health, namely the medical mission, the infrastructure will be prepared so that Gramang Aboy Koni can get his first injection, and after which the rest of the residents can follow. That is the local news for today. Tomorrow we will be back. Until then, stay safe. Bye-bye.